nephrotic syndrome nephrotic syndrome constitutes four parameters that is uh, proteinuria more than 3 grams uh, then we have hypoalbuminemia hyperlipidemia and generalized edema so here in nephrotic syndrome basically there is a damage in the glomerular uh, uh, gl uh, the glomerular uh, filtration there is a change in the pore size and uh, because of that there will be loss of proteins leading to proteinuria and hypoalbuminemia that means albumin is uh, reduced in the blood now the pathophysiology here is actually uh, when the albumin is lost we know that albumin is actually maintaining the oncotic pressure the oncotic pressure is really required uh, to maintain it in the intravascular volume but when the oncotic pressure reduces and hydrostatic pressure increases there is a fluid shift means the fluid will get uh, shifted and accumulated in the interstitial space leading to edema so we manifest as hyperlipidemia and because of uh, these manifestation it triggers the hepatic uh, uh, production of the lipids leading to hyperlipidemia uh, where there will be increase in the trans fatty acids vldl uh, ldl cholesterol leading to hi uh, hyper uh, hyperlipidemia uh, now there are various uh, causes of uh, nephrotic syndrome there will be minimal change disease or focal uh, segmental glomerular sclerosis and uh, segmental glomerular sclerosis uh, membranous uh, uh, glomerular nephropathy ig nephropathy or there might be other secondary causes causes like infections or tumors or uh, toxins uh, that might lead to uh, the damage to the glomerular uh, function the patient usually presents uh, uh, the these are the manifestation commonly the management includes uh, the investigation and treatment so the investigation uh, can be ct scan or uh, the basic routine investigation to look for uh, and the protein dipstick basic dipstick test to detect uh the presence of proteins and albumin test uh urine uh, microscopy and uh, also the lipid levels can be assessed lipid profile and uh, to uh, if there is any underlying causes of infections or uh, tumor for that uh usg or ct scan or dmsa then ivu uh, all these tests uh, can be done in order to uh, come to the proper diagnosis of the cause for the nephrotic syndrome so the manifestation uh, as i mentioned that there are different types which causes this nephrotic syndrome so if there is a minimal change disease or focal segmental glomerular uh, sclerosis then in that case uh, we are su uh, supposed to start with the steroid therapy salt uh, intake has to be restricted protein Uh, excess should not be there because it will progress. Uh, it will lead to progression of the uh, damage to the kidney, and uh, the prednisolone therapy has to be given for children in case of uh, minimal change disease. Uh, it should be sixty five. Sixty five mg has to be given, uh, followed uh, for uh, two weeks, and after that, uh, sorry, for four weeks, and. Uh, again we have to reduce the dose to 30 and uh, if in case and the uh, worst part is the worst part is that uh, there is a high chance of remission and relapse in these cases so the treatment has to be repeated similarly they can also be uh, added with immunomodulators like uh, di uh, mycophenolate mofetil or cyclophosphamide uh tacrolimus like the uh tacrolimus these uh, drugs can be added uh, along with the steroid therapy in case of secondary causes uh, the underlying cause has to be treated uh, as per that and uh, water intake has to be done with salt restriction and protein diet should be controlled and uh, that's it